for you today. And we want all of you to be involved. So please feel free to join the conversation and share your photos and experiences with us on social media using the hashtag Humber Convo. Now, Raf, why don't you tell everyone what we've got planned for this afternoon? Well, Dan, we have an exciting show lined up for everybody. Firstly, as Humber's talented music and vocal students will be gracing us with several performances throughout the show. We've also got short videos to show you what life is like at Humber College. And that's not all. Our reporter, Hurray Manzikani, is on his way right now to meet President Chris Whitaker. We'll speak to him a little bit later in the show, along with today's honorary degree recipient, Jason Harrow. He's a rapper and philanthropist that you all probably know better by his stage name, Cardinal Official. Hurray's also going to be roaming the floors, catching up with graduates and some pretty proud parents who are going to share a little bit about what makes today so special. Now, Raf, what about the students graduating this afternoon? Well, Dan, this year marks Humber's 51st graduating class. Humber's first convocation was held in May 1968 to a class of just 19. Humber's grown significantly since then, and this year, we're going to see about 10,000 graduates joining an alumni network of over 250,000. There are 10 convocation ceremonies over four days, and today alone, we're going to see about 3,000 graduates walk across that stage. And this afternoon's graduates are from the School of Business and include students from the Degree, Diploma, and Advanced Diploma programs, as well as the Ontario Graduate Certificate and Certificate of Achievement programs. We'll see several prominent students graduating today, including Mackenzie Beacock from the Bachelor of Commerce International Business program, who's our President's Medal winner. You know, one of the more prominent graduates from this program is Ron Suter. He's the VP, uh, the executive VP, sorry, of NBC Universal Television and New Media Distribution Canada. Wow, Dan, that's truly fascinating. A real testament to show that Humber alumni can end up anywhere. Anyways, we're going to take a quick break for a performance by the mo music and vocal students. But when we get back, Haren will be speaking to President Chris Whitaker and honorary degree recipient Cardinal Official. And if you like what you see and you want to tell us about it, Please join the conversation and celebrate with us on social media using the hashtag Humber Combo. That's us for right now. We'll be right back. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Humber Music here to entertain all the family and friends for this year's graduation convocation 2019 ceremonies. We're gonna kick it off with Algeros, we're in this love together. It's like a diamond ring, it's a precious thing. And we never wanna lose it. It's like a favorite song that you love to sing. Every time we hear the music, or don't you know that we're in this love together? We got the kind that lasts forever. We're in this love together. It's like berries on the vine. It gets sweeter all the time. It's like berries on the vine 
like a circle in a spiral like a wheel within a wheel never ending or beginning on an ever spinning reel like a snowball down a mountain or a carnival balloon like a carousel that's burning running rings around the moon like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind like a tunnel that you follow to a tunnel of its own down a hollow to a cavern where the sun has never shone like a door that keeps revolving in a half a garden dream or the ripples from a pebble someone tosses in a stream like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind keys that jangle in your pocket words that jangle in your head why did summer go so quickly was it something that i said lovers walk along the shore and leave the footprints in the sand it's the sound of distant drumming just the fingers of your head pictures hanging in the hallway or the fragment of a song half remember names and faces but to whom do they belong when you knew that it was over were you suddenly aware that the autumn leaves were turning to the color of her hair like a circle in a spiral like a wheel within a wheel never ending or beginning on an ever spinning wheel as the images unwind like the circles that you find in the windmills of summer go so quickly was it something that I said lovers walk along the shore and leave their footprints in the sand it's the sound of distant drumming just the fingers of your head pictures hanging in the hallway or the fragment of a song half remember names and traces but to whom do they belong when you knew that it was over were you suddenly aware that the autumn leaves were turning to the color of her hair like a circle in a spiral like a wheel within a wheel never ending or beginning on an ever spinning wheel as the images unwind like the circles that you find the windmills of your
Welcome back to the Humber College 2019 Spring Convocation Pre-Show after a fantastic performance by the music and vocal students. Now, our reporter Hurain is live in the VIP room with today's honorary degree recipient, Cardinal Official. Hurain, what's happening? Good afternoon. Thank you, Dan and Raphael. Good afternoon, Humber. As you can see, people are already pouring in. They're excited about today, about gradu uh, graduating today. They're joined by their family and friends. And as you can see behind me, people are collecting their gowns so that they could walk to the marshalling area, so that they could walk across the stage. And I have with me one of Canada's best known rappers, Cardinal Official. Thank you, Cardinal, for joining us. My pleasure. How are you? I am great. Um, uh, how does it feel to be uh, given the honorary degree by Humber College? I mean, it's a, it's a massive honor, you know, it's a massive honor uh, to be recognized for your contributions to your industry. And um, I just think, you know, an institution like, like Humber, which is recognized internationally, it's, it's an esteemed honor to, uh, to receive a degree today. So can you, tell us about, can you tell us more about taking your passion for music and merging it with uh, an entrepreneurial spirit, an enterprise? Um, I think most of us that are in the music industry that are successful have figured out a way um, to, you know, I guess very delicately take the creative world and, uh, you know, maybe the world of finance and smash it together. Um, I'm also a senior director at uh, Universal Music, so I think I get a lot of practice as an executive and I learn new ways um, to adapt and, and navigate within the industry and then I'm always you know staying creative and staying hungry in the studio so for me it almost came naturally because I think before I was given the opportunities um, we had a little tagline we used to say um, independent hustle with the major label muscle so all that means is you always think as an indie so whether you're you know a small business or whatever and then you uh, end up maybe partnering with a, with a larger corporation you always keep the hunger of you know those people that are getting it for the first time you know you keep that drive but then you use the machine of the of the um, you know the bigger corporations and you just fuse it together and you find the balance that that works for you so what were the major lessons did you learn as an entrepreneur in your journey I mean we, we learn lessons every day you know we learn we literally learn lessons every day so it depends it depends on um, it depends on where you are at in your career you know, do you have any like any specific things that you, that you would want to know? Because that's a very like broad question. Like literally, I learn uh, different different things every day in terms of like better communication skills. Um, I learn how to be more self sufficient. Like there's so many different things that I learn all the time. How to be creative uh, as an entrepreneur with your finances and have those things um, stretch and learn when to allocate certain things and in which ways. Like there's so many things that you learn, and especially like traveling the world you may actually learn how to function within North America, but then when you have to go on tour in, say, China or France or India, or, you know, if you have an artist that is signed, the way that um, culturally and socially things work um, around the world is different from here. So there's many different things that you have to learn all the time, and you have to be able to, to adapt and figure out, you know, what are the best business practices um, Pretty much every day because the other thing is especially within the music industry is the landscape is changing so the things that worked yesterday may not work today or tomorrow so you know again you, you have to learn how to be able to to navigate so if you had a few minutes with a with a business graduate or a business student and you had to tell him five or two or three things that were the most important things in your entrepreneurial journey what would you say if you had a few minutes to talk to him and give him some uh, wise advice uh, I would say that everything is only impossible until you do it uh, some people might say this would never work for a business or a thousand businesses were never able to uh, succeed in a particular area that might be the story for them but you might be the one person that was able to make that happen. So never take on anybody's story as gospel, you know? You might be the one to figure out a new way to do business. Um, the other one I would say is relationships, networking. That is so key and so valuable when it comes to business because a lot of times uh, opportunities that you may get may be based on what your network looks like. So when they say that your network is your net worth, that is such a true statement and that goes for internationally because the thing is, 
a lot of the opportunities that I've gotten are from people that I've known for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, or maybe even somebody that I just met the week before. And I would say uh, the last thing maybe is to always treat everybody the same, whether they're a president, a CEO, or somebody that you meet that holds the door open for you. Because to be honest, there are people that I know now that are presidents that may have started off at a very junior level. So I would encourage everybody to not uh, kind of curate the way that you deal with people based on who you think they are. Just deal with everybody the same type of way and uh, treat everybody with a mutual respect because you never know when that person may elevate and that person may be signing a check that you might need. So you started off as a, as a rapper and you... Still a rapper! <laughs> yes, of just, course, 100%. Joking, 100%. Just, 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 just. You're, you started off as a rapper yeah. and now you're a rapper and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as more of, more of a rapper or more of an entrepreneur or more of both? So there's an acronym that I think best suits me that is, that is REP. And that stands for Rapper, Executive and Philanthropist. And I think for me, it's probably... It's probably spread pretty equally at this point in time. You know, I spend uh, a good deal of time, a good deal of time uh, being a rapper and, you know, making sure that my creativity is always flowing because everything that I do currently stems from the foundation of music. So, you know, I never uh, kind of stray away from that. But then going on as you mature, uh, I was given the opportunity to become a senior executive. And, you know, that is a brand new world that I entered into maybe just four or five years ago. But I think, uh, you know, always having that same independent hustle that I was talking about before, being able to have that independent hustle uh, prepared me for my job as an executive because I think differently and my brain is tuned in a different way. So I think that's where my value comes in is that I can offer a different way of looking at a corporate structure. And then the last thing is philanthropy, and at the end of the day, that's just being a good human and contributing back to the world that's contributed to you. So I spend a lot of time also figuring out uh, different ways that I can give back and enhance our global community. How interconnected is philanthropy and entrepreneurship? Depends on who you are. For some people, not at all. Some people, is just a tax write-off. But, you know, I was raised within the community, and I was raised with my mom, uh, being a, a, a pillar in the community and somebody that, you know, has always worked to enrich the communities both that we lived and even ones that we didn't live in. So I grew up understanding the importance and the value of having philanthropic efforts and not in a charitable sense because I don't like, a, you know, thinking about it as charity, but more as, you know, giving a helping hand so that people can have a more, depending on where you are in the world, a more sustainable lifestyle so that the things that you learn can, can help and create, create a positive cycle. So you are from Canada and you are getting and you are getting a degree, honorary degree, yes. uh, from Humber College, Toronto, your home country. Yes. How special is this for you? I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. You know, there's no place, uh, there's no place that I would rather be other than Toronto. You know, Toronto is very special. Uh, it has, it has raised me. It has showed me a lot of lessons. You know, sometimes people say they go through bad stuff, they go through good stuff. But I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to understand that there are not necessarily bad situations, but just situations that you learn from, lessons that make you better. So when you look back and you see all those quote unquote bad situations, they're just situations that better prepare you for what's going on in the future. So there's no place that uh, I would rather get an honorary degree than here in Toronto and, you know, a prestigious place like Humber. Uh, Cardinal, your presence is extremely special for us. Thank you so much for your time and hope you enjoy the afternoon. Yurian, been my pleasure. Thank you very much, Thanks. boss. Thank you. Take All care. All right, cool. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. As you can see, the, uh, the excitement is on and people are pumped. And uh, back to Dan and uh, Raphael for more. I'll see you at the marshalling area. Thanks so much, Yurian. That was uh, incredible to hear from Cardinal Official, today's honorary degree recipient. Such a great guy. Well, anyways, we're going to give you a sneak preview of what's to come this afternoon with a little video highlight package from last year's Spring Convocation. See you soon.
it is. Humber takes the gold. National champion. Hi everyone and welcome to Convocation. The ceremony is about to start and we are reaching capacity in Convocation Hall. In order to accommodate as many guests as possible, we ask that you remove all personal belongings from open seats and do not leave any empty seats between guests. Thank you and congratulations to all of our graduates. Welcome everybody, we are Humber Music and we're here to entertain you for the duration of this ceremony. I hope you guys enjoy it. Next song we're about to sing is a little song called Wake Up. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more backward thinking. Time for thinking ahead. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There is so much hatred, war and poverty, yeah. oh. Wake up all the teachers, trying to teach a new way. Maybe then they listen to what you have to say. Cause they're the ones who's coming up. The world is in their hands. When you teach your children, teach the very best you can. Just let it be oh, oh. The world won't get no better We gotta change it, yeah Or just you and me Wake up all the doctors Make the old people well They're the ones who suffer And catch all the hell very long for the judgment day so won't you make them happy before they all pass away oh. Ooh, wake up all the builders time to build a new land build a new land i know oh. we can do it if we all lend a hand the only thing we have to do is put it in our mind. Thank you. 
hear you go again you say you want your freedom well who am i to keep you down it's only right that you should play the way you feel when well listen carefully to the side of your loneliness like a heartbeat drives you mad in the stillness of a memory what you had and what you lost and what you had and what you've lost thunder only happens when it's raining Spanish joint by D'Angelo. I hope you enjoy it. Oh. Whenever it rains, I feel this way. A little something to get me through this day. Oh, give a little of that. No time flag. Gonna be a good thing. Serena, but need a feeling free. Uh, 
I'm getting up and I'm landing on my feet. Oh, brush the dirt on my back. No time flat. Gonna be a good day. Well, people say it's true. Whatever will be, will forever do. Whatever the cost, stop paying for. I don't want nothing to do with you. Gotta get out, gotta get out of here I'm in the dark and the lights are so sincere Oh, brush the dirt of my back No time flat Gonna be a good thing All you do is complain about your pain uh, And the rain that follows never sees the rain Oh, don't look back, yeah Handle that, make it to a good thing. Something's turning to me. A soul control is in control of me. I lick in your chain, it just won't do. to the Humber College 2019 Spring Convocation pre-show. That was another awesome performance by our vocal and musical students led by program coordinator Lisa Martinelli. I'm Dan Hollingberry. And I'm Rafael Indiarta. Moving on to the rest of our jam-packed pre-show, we're gonna take it back live with our roving reporter, Haren, who's standing by with some graduates. Haren, what's going on in the marshalling room? Thanks, Dan and Raphael. I'm outside of the marshalling, a marshalling area where about 1,000 students are getting lined up to walk across the stage in just a few minutes. And I have with me a group of pretty ladies from Cosmetic Management. And we have, uh, can you tell me your name, please? Jennifer. Yes, Jennifer. How is your experience at Humber? My experience was unlike any place I've ever been to. It was fully full of welcoming people. And the students and the pe teachers that we've met, I don't think I can meet people like them again. So what were the challenges that you faced in your, in your program? Well, because our, ours is cosmetic management, some of the challenges that I faced would probably be how it's like so cutthroat, so you have to be the best of the best, and you always have to make sure that like you're 100%, 100%, 100%. And it wasn't really a challenge that I couldn't really accept. And uh, can you tell me more about your program? What did you do and your experience at the program? So in the program, it was, um, it, for me, it wasn't like, 
I thought it was going to be more practical, but I learned a lot with like the theory and book work that came along with it. And I feel like as I went through the program and stuff, it made me more like have more knowledge for what's to come in like the real world once I graduate. So what does it mean to you to graduate today? Uh, success. I'm the second person in my family to graduate with a college university like accomplishment, I guess, diploma wise. So it's like a really big stepping stone for me and my family. So what next? Where from where you want to go from here? From here, I'm hoping to do freelance makeup artistry and then maybe in like a couple years come back and do like another program and see where that takes me. So moving on to you, how has the program shaped you as a person? Uh, the program shaped me as a person because it's made me more aware of the industry as a whole, I think, and the problems that there are in our industry with our ingredient policies and being in Canada and things that are FDA approved. We really have a big struggle with that and it's shaped me to look into what I'm using, what products I'm using and what I'm actually putting on my skin and on my client's skin and knowing that just because it's FDA approved doesn't mean that it's safe and I should be using it on everybody. Thank you so much. Congratulations uh, for your uh, graduation today. We will be moving on to Bachelor of Commerce Students Finance and we have uh, Bobby. Yes. Am I right? Yes. So, uh, Bobby, tell me about your uh, program at Humber and your experience. So, I was in the Bachelor of Commerce Finance program. Uh, you know, there's lots of things we learn from investments, right? Like stocks, hedge funds, mutual funds, just investing in general, you know, predicting forecasts. You know, all that, all that fun stuff, just mathematics and finance. So, what was the challenges that you faced uh, in your program? There was many tribulations, you know, that we faced, you know, from academic probation. But, you know, the one thing I learned was never, ever give up. We hustled, we out here now, and we made it. That's it. So, finally, you're graduating today. What, how do you feel and what does it mean to you? Bro, honestly, it's the best feeling in the world. Four years are just, like non-stop hustle you know what I mean blood sweat and tears and you know we just did it at the end of the day bro I never gave up and we out here that's it so how special is is this whole occasion for you how special special is what how special how special is this occasion for you bro to be honest it's really special you know like anything I've worked towards like once you receive the reward it's really special to me no matter what it is so we all thank you and we also have Victoria here and who has bagged a job and can you tell us more about uh, the journey of getting that uh, job and how has Humber helped you? Well starting off on my four-year degree you know it was a really really long process and it took a really long time so it's just constant hard work, constant mot motivation, constant high drive and just really putting yourself out there. You get a few rejection letters you can't stop there. It's not about applying for one job it's about applying for hundreds of different jobs and the more you network and the more you educate yourself and the more you believe in yourself you're going to get the job that you truly deserve and I'm incredibly excited to be working on Bay Street this summer. And uh, can you tell us what you'd be working on and how has that helped you? Uh, how has Humber helped you? Humber's helped me in a lot of ways. It took me from, I was 17 years old when I first entered into the degree. Now I'm 20, almost 22. It's worked on a lot of personal and professional development, building my teamwork skills, my communication skills, my problem skills. It was just professors who never gave up on us and constantly pushed us to do our best. Is there anyone in the audience you want to say hi to since we are being telecast on the screen? Yeah, so I want to say hi to my mom, my dad, my brother Gary. Shout out to my bro. Uh, I want to say a shout out to all my brothers everywhere who are attending the convocation today. That's Rukshit, Jay, Farouk, everyone. Basically, I just love everyone. That's it. Can I so give I a shout out? Okay. Sure. Okay, I want to give a shout out to my parents for everything they've done for me. I want to give a huge shout out to my roommates, parents, Rick and Kathy Hughes. Thank you so much for um, letting me come with you guys and making this such a special day for me, and I really appreciate it. Also, a shout out to my friend Kira, who drove over four hours. Kira and Renee, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your graduation. Now, moving back to cosmetic management, do you want to say any? Uh, do you want to say anything to anyone in the audience right now? Um, thank you, Mom, Dad, Michael, Carly, and Cameron. You guys have shaped me into the, such an amazing woman, and I can't thank you guys enough. I just want to say hi, Mom and Dad. We out here, you know, like, okay. And I just want to say thank you to my parents for helping me achieve this big goal in my life and for supporting me through it nonstop. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Congratulations on your graduation. And I will throw back to Dan and Raphael.
Thanks, Ren. Always exciting to hear from the graduates on their special day. Now, we're going to be back in the studio in a few minutes, but first, we've got a video from some of Humber's diverse and multicultural students. Here's what they had to say to today's graduates. Gratulations, absolventi. Selamat untuk para lulusan Humber. Felicitations, diplômé. Safal Hoyano Bot Bot Mubarka. Humble Shop graduates ki Ami Oni Obinondon Janai. Abinandan Vidyatio. Molotov Chuan Kurstan Torah Blips. Lamat graduate. Tumun Kala Togi Pai Humble. Mubarak Vidyatio. Convocation, and I really believe this, and you often hear it at convocation ceremonies, but people start off, and I often do myself, saying it's the best day of the year at the college. On the day of the graduates' uh, ceremony, they will arrive at the Toronto Congress Centre, where they will be gowned in the regalia that fits their program that they're graduating from. They'll be marshaled into the venue. At the time in which their name is called, they will cross the stage, shake their hand with our president and board of governors. At the event conclusion, uh, they will have the opportunity to get uh, together with their guests and family. The real highlight and the significance for me is standing on the stage because I get the privilege of, of, of shaking hands and uh, when they cross the stage to receive their diploma. And there's, and there's nothing better than, than looking over and watching the next person walk across the stage uh, because you get every mix of emotions. Some are terrified, some are really savoring the moment. It is a celebration for sure of our students, but it's a celebration of everyone's contribution towards student success as well. Jere vidate ne sikhya puri kali hai. Ona nu bahut bahut vadaiya. Hongera wana phone se wali madiza. Felicidades graduados. Congratulations graduates. Hi everyone and welcome to Convocation. The ceremony is about to start and we are reaching capacity in Convocation Hall. In order to accommodate as many guests as possible, we ask that you remove all personal belongings from open seats and do not leave any empty seats between guests. Thank you and congratulations to all of our graduates. Imagine there's no countries Is in a heart to do Nothing to kill Imagine there's no heaven 
It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky For greed or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Oh, imagine all the people sharing all the world. Oh, yeah. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2019 Convocation Ceremony. As you can see, we're extremely excited for our event and our graduates are going to be on their way shortly. We ask that you remove all belongings from all chairs that you are not using. We are very close to our capacity and we are attempting to seat every guest and family member of our graduates. We ask that you not save seats. If we reach capacity, we will close the ballroom and the guests outside will not get seated in the ballroom. We ask you to work with our ambassadors to remove everything from your chairs, books, flowers, purses, and coats so we can accommodate all of our guests. Thank you and we will wait for our graduates. If you're so dangerously, you're not trusting your heart to anyone. You tell me you're gonna play it smart. We're through before we start, and I believe that 
we've only just begun When this this good is no say no I need you so I'm ready to go Welcome back to our Humber College 2019 Spring Convocation pre-show. Let's have another hand for Lisa Martinelli and her talented music and vocal students, Gabriella Rogers, Tariq Henry, Jeremy Huckel, Jared Craig, and Ben Green. Now we're just a few short minutes away from our 3 p.m. ceremony and the excitement is really starting to build in the hall behind me. Let's go to our live reporter, Ray Monsicani, one last time. Thanks, Dan and Raphael. I'm outside of the main stage where students are just getting lined up to walk across the stage and they're excited. And I am with proud parents, Lois and Joe. And her daughter, is, uh, her daughter Mary Jo, is going to graduate from, uh, digital, from the digital marketing course. So how does it feel to, uh, to see your uh, kid going to walk across the stage and graduate today? Oh, I am so happy. I am so proud of her, what she's accomplished, both educationally and also how much she's grown. 
like definitely as a person, as a result of going through Humber. So. Yeah, it, there, there's no words that can express how proud we are of her and that, you know, we're so happy that she came here. So, uh, so what led to, uh, to Humber and uh, what was the journey like? What was the selection process like? Well, actually, I recommended that she should look at Humber with their digital marketing program because I have a, a friend who teaches in the graduate marketing program. Um, but she did the full spreadsheet. She compared all the universities. She looked at the courses. And then she's like, wow, they've got a really good program. And they do. Now, as you look back and uh, you look back at her, uh, at how she was and now how she has, what has transpired and how she's become as a person, uh, what kind of changes do you see and what changes has Humber helped produce? Well, she's participated a lot in the uh, DECA programs at Humber, which are the case competitions. And as a result of that, she's had to really refine all of her skills because those are very uh, dynamic environments. And she's been so competitive for Humber, winning many, many of the regional Ontario events and even going down to internationals and competing against Harvard and Yale and, and came second place in the internationals this year. So it's just amazing to watch her grow and mature in her, I guess, professional life, right? So you're an entrepreneur yourself. So what kind of role have you played in, in her program, in her life? Uh, you probably have to ask her because in the beginning, of course, dad knows nothing, right? But she's starting to understand that maybe I know a little bit and she's even come back and told me that some of the things that I've told her have helped her in school and in in her competitions but not willingly offering that up but she did offer it so, so if uh, today is the moment today is a really special moment if there's something that you want to say on the stage to her and celebrate her what what would that be just that we're, we're so proud of her and we love her so much and we, we know that she's going to, you know, take this and this is just a beginning. All right. Um, one last word. She's finally off the gravy train. <laughs> Uh, I am just outside the main stage where people are just going to walk across and uh, as you can see, everyone's excited, everyone's pumped and everyone's proud. Uh, back to Dan and Raphael. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Rain. Uh, it's so great to hear from those proud parents. And you know, I just think about uh, what Cardinal and Fischel had to say about how you know he learned a lot outside of school as well, and he never stopped learning. And everything that he encountered became an educational moment. And I think that's going to be true for a lot of the graduates involved today. Uh, they're going to take what they've learned here at Humber and they're going to extrapolate it and continue to build upon the foundations that they've built here and keep learning and keep educating themselves every day. Yes, and it's always the parents who are just so supportive and so proud. Just walking through the Convocation Hall, you can see the parents taking photos, uh, bringing them flowers and teddy bears, and it's such a, like, such a jubilant occasion for them all. And going off of what you said, Dan, and I think I've heard President Chris Whitaker say this too, these, we want, they want to foster eternal students. And they never stop learning from whether they be their job or their friends, family, should always take something away and learn something, something every day. And, uh, you know, there's also a lot of younger family members here, a lot of uh, potential Humber students who may see their older brothers and sisters graduating and, you know, think of a similar uh, educational path. That's right. Uh, so I think that's, uh, that's great. Now, don't forget, you can share all of your photos using the hashtag HumberConvo. Uh, it's trending right now on social media. Uh, so get them up there on Twitter and Instagram. We want to see all of your photos and how all of you are celebrating this afternoon. That's right, we want to see photos with your families, friends, dogs, cats, whatever you do to celebrate this special occasion. We want to see it and we want to share it. Uh, and that's a wrap on our pre-show coverage. That's right, and we're going to have one last video to show you about what life is like at Humber College. But stay tuned afterwards because we have our main event, the convocation ceremony itself. I'm Rafael Indiarta. And I'm Dan Hollingberry. And on behalf of our reporter, Harin Manzakani, and the entire broadcast television production crew, we just wanted to say thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. We are here for our convocation, class of 2018. We are so happy. I love Humber. <laughs> I definitely want to thank all my professors. Uh, they all did an awesome job. Chef Kumar, Chef Sergio, and uh, Chef Koo, and Chef Gonzalez um, for all their ongoing support and coaching. 
I would like to thank all the professors because they really helped me and guided me through. Um, I even feel proud that because of me I graduated and my parents got to come to Canada from India and they came with me to celebrate this day. I am so proud of my students. This is like the culmination of so much hard work and it's such a joyful time to see them so happy and, and it, for teachers it's, uh, it's a really proud moment for us. They know what to expect and they know what to teach us and what will be really helpful in the industry. So they were really helpful to guide us in the right direction. The people, the teachers, I loved everything about it. A lot of hard work put into this program and now I'm at the end and ready to start my, uh, my career and future. I chose Humber because, well, my parents chose Humber as well. I did the landscape program. And I was in the fashion marketing and business program in 1988. <laughs> I do want to thank my parents for being so supportive and my family. They were always there when I needed it and they kept on pushing me forward. You can do it. not expecting that my parents will be here but it's a great opportunity for me I'm feeling blessed today so now I'm done with my internship so now I'm full-time working there I'm thinking to come back in Humber College again and to complete my bachelor's degree also it's incredible um, the fact that I've gotten here through like our program is really really heavy um, so the fact that I got here I have so much family support it means a lot to be here we're very proud of her yes now we are Humber we are Humber, <laughs> we are Humber. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Convocation. The ceremony is about to start and we are reaching capacity in Convocation Hall. In order to accommodate as many guests as possible, we ask that you remove all personal belongings from open seats and do not leave any empty seats between guests. Thank you and congratulations to all of our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Vince Fecto. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 2019 Convocation Ceremony. The, the music you have been, li been listening to this, this afternoon has been performed by our third and fourth year students from our internationally acclaimed Humber Music Programs. This year, we are profiling students from our Bachelor of Music degree program who have been immersed in performance, composition, songwriting, and production in a variety of musical genres, including jazz, pop, contemporary, R&B, Latin, and world music. Showcasing their amazing talents today are five up-and-coming artists. Gabriella Rogers and Tariq Henry on vocals, Jeremy Hutzel on keys, bassist Jarrett Craig, and Ben Green on drums. <laughs> Graduation is an occasion that is very important to the graduates and their families. We ask that you respect the occasion and remain in your seats for the duration of the ceremony and refrain from talking. We ask you to please turn off all cell phones and personal electronic devices. Fire regulations state that we must keep the back aisle of convocation clear, so we ask that you not stand in that area. In the event of emergency, please note your nearest exit and follow the staff. And now, please rise as you are able to welcome our 2019 graduates and platform party. Dance. 
things in the world are easy. We want to love when I walk in the streets. We want to be free. We want to be free. Talking about a new wave, talking about changing our names. Talk about building the land of our dreams. This tightrope's got to learn how to bend. We're making new plans, we're going to start it again. Rise up, rise up, and rise and show your power. Rise up, rise up. Everybody's dancing to the sun. Rise up, rise up. It's time for celebration. Rise up. The silent isn't quiet 
And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world into its feet And move
Please be seated. And welcome to the 2019 Convocation Ceremony for the graduates from the Business School. In fact, this is the second of two ceremonies held for the Business School graduates. The first one was held earlier today. My name is Elvina Cassiani. I am the Dean of the Business School, and it is my great pleasure to be your Masters of Ceremonies this afternoon. We would like to begin the ceremony today by acknowledging that Humber is located within the traditional and treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit, known as Adobicoke, the place of the Black Alders. In the Mississauga language, the region is uniquely situated along Humber River watershed, which historically provided an integral connection for the, Anish for the Anishinaabe, Hudasini, and Wendat peoples between Ontario Lakeshore and the Lake Simcoe Georgian Bay regions. Now, home to people of numerous nations, Adobigok continues, sorry, continues to provide a vital source of interconnections for all. Today, we acknowledge and honor the land where we are walking on, the moccasin tracks of our ancestors, and the footprints of the future generations to come. I'd like to begin our ceremony by introducing our platform party. Please hold your applause until the platform party members have been introduced. Sylvia Chichura, member, faculty union. Michael McDougall, director, professional and continuing education, the business school. Janet Stewart, admissions advisor, office of the registrar. Freddie Meha. President, Support Staff Union. Dr. Susan Kelsell, Associate Dean, the Business School. Dr. Mark Hanna, Associate Dean, the Business School. James Cullen, Associate Dean, the Business School. Peter Madot, Associate Dean, the Business School. Krissa O'Donnell, Chief Advancement Officer. Michelle Hestick Cowell, Member of Board of Governors. Anna Fernandez, Member, Board of Governors. Julie Kirkby, Reader. Barbara Reich, Associate Vice President, Enrollment Manager and Registrar. Jason Hunter, Vice President, Students and Institutional Planning. Scott Briggs, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Chris Ritiker, President and CEO of the Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning. Leanne Hannaway, Member, Board of Governors. Dr. Don McCauley, Associate Dean, Liberal Arts School, Liberal Studies, School of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Jason Haro, also known as Cardinal Official. Honorary, <laughs> honorary degree recipient. And Dr. Paul Griffin, Associate Dean, The Business School. Everyone, your platform party. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Leanne Hannaway greetings to provide greetings from our Board of Governors. Graduates, Honorees, parents, family members, friends, faculty, staff, and honored guests. It is my pleasure to bring greetings from Humber's Board of Governors. First and foremost, congratulations to all of our graduates for achieving the success that we are celebrating here today. You have worked hard to complete all your programs and we on the board are very proud of your achievements. Today is a day to say, well done. <laughs> Second, the board wishes you success in your future endeavors. You can move forward in your chosen field 
with the confidence of having been educated at one of Canada's preeminent colleges. The knowledge and skills that you've developed here at Humber will provide an excellent foundation for your future success. I would be remiss if I did not also recognize and thank all of those present and not present here at the ceremony who have supported our graduates in their studies at Humber. The Board of Governors understands the important and crucial role played by parents, friends, and other key a family and other key supporters in each student's life. So again, congratulations to our graduates and best wishes for the future. Thank you, Leanne. I would like to invite President Chris Whitaker to say a few words to the graduating class of 2019. Well, thank you very much for the introduction, Elvina, and thank you for your leadership as, as Dean of the Business School. So good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I think everybody knows that this has been quite a week of celebration in Toronto, right? Am I right? Okay, okay, yeah. So this may not be a Raptors victory party, but let's have some fun today, all right? Okay, let's get started. Members of the platform party, honored guests, faculty and staff, family, friends, and especially our graduates, who are looking very fine, by the way, it's my pleasure to welcome you to today's convocation. This year, we'll recognize more than 10,000 graduates across 10 ceremonies, a significant number, and certainly a reason to celebrate. Thank you all for being here with us to mark the occasion. Thank you as well to all the Humber employees who helped make this event happen. A day like this takes many people to produce, from when our graduates arrive and receive their gowns to when they cross the stage in a few minutes, you, our staff and faculty, work tirelessly to make this day memorable for our graduates and families, and we are grateful for your efforts. Yeah, yeah, we can start the applause. Thank you. Now, I've been part of many convocation ceremonies as a professor, as a president, and most importantly, as a parent. So I share the many emotions that we're all feeling today. The pride of achievement, the joy of success, and yes, the relief that this significant day has finally come. Convocation is my favorite time of the academic year because it's a time for our community to celebrate our students' achievements and to look ahead to the new beginnings and abundant possibilities that await the graduates. And before we recognize their accomplishments, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank those who helped our grads along the way. To Humber's faculty and staff, thank you for your dedication and commitment. Our students wouldn't be here without your support, wisdom, and encouragement. Let's give our faculty and staff a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you also to friends, families, and loved ones for supporting our graduates through those inevitable ups and downs of college life. Your support comes in many ways. Financial, emotional, financial, <laughs> lending a helping hand, and did I say financial? Okay, you got it. I think you deserve a round of applause as well. And now to our graduates. You did it. You received the spotlight you're receiving today. The spotlight is on you, not just because of what you've achieved, but because you are the leaders of tomorrow. According to an article published last year in the Harvard Business Review, great leaders are, get ready, confident, connected, committed, and courageous. All of these attributes are within each of you. You have spent the last weeks, months, and years honing your skills and knowledge in classrooms and in workplaces. Your experiences have helped grow your confidence. You are connected. You have networked with fellow students, faculty, and industry representatives throughout your program. You are also now part of the growing community of Humber alumni around the world who are making their mark and making a difference. You are committed. You made the decision to change your life through education and have put in the work to get to this day. 
You are courageous. As students, each of you came to Humber from somewhere else, from high school or another post-secondary institution, from a job, from another city, or even another country. It took courage to reach this point, and it will take more in the future as you are faced with new situations and environments. Some consider courage to be an innate character trait, something you're born with. Others consider courage to be a skill, something that you can develop and strengthen over time. Well, I believe it's a choice. Here at Humber, we chose to make courage one of our core values. We need to be bold to chart a new course when it comes to education, to change our programs to ensure they are relevant, responsive, and anticipate how the world is evolving, to change how we operate, to give our students more choice and flexibility. We believe, it every, we believe everyone at Humber should feel empowered to make bold choices, tackle inequity, and try new things. And we want the same thing for our graduates. We want you to leave Humber with the courage to act, to take risks and to fail. And if you fail, to have the courage to get up, learn from what you did, and try again. Right now there's a special on Netflix by University of Houston research professor Brene Brown called The Call to Courage. And yes, believe it or not, I'm hip enough to know what's trending on Netflix. <laughs> According to Brown, courage requires two things. Vulnerability and involvement. Vulnerability, she says, is not about winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up when you can't control the outcome. It's having the courage to admit you don't have all the answers. It's pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone because that's where you'll learn the most. It's the courage to let yourself change and grow. Courage is needed now more than ever and you have the skills and knowledge to lead the way. We live in uncertain times. Across the globe, we are all grappling with political tension, climate change, and changing economies. I encourage you to get involved and be the change you want to see in the world. Remember that global network of Humber alumni I mentioned? Let me give you a short example of someone who did just that. Raul Singh graduated from Humber's paramedic program in 1993. Soon after, he was backpacking in Nepal when a series of landslides wiped out a village. He ran a disaster response team to help manage the crisis, but found that most of the funding got lost in administration before getting to the people who needed it most. He changed that by founding Global Medic, an organization that provides efficient and cost-effective disaster relief. Global Medic has led more than 50 missions in over 30 countries. Since they started, their efforts have helped countless people around the world survive life-threatening situations following catastrophes. In 2009, Raul was named one of Canada's top 40 under 40, and in 2010, he was included on Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Not bad. All that because he had the courage to be the change he knew would benefit others. So no pressure, yeah, that's good. So no pressure, but the world is counting on you. And I know you're up for the challenge. As you move on, remember to think critically, to question and challenge what some accept at face value, and seek ways to contribute, give back, and get involved. You leave here with a strengthened ability to make sense of the world, to make the right choices to engage and make a difference for yourself and others, even when it isn't easy. As a Humber student, you've been part of one of Canada's most diverse and inclusive institutions, so embrace diversity in all its forms, from race, religion, place of origin, culture, sexuality, gender identity, age, to economic status and more, it's up to each of us to acknowledge and seek to understand these differences and find ways to build bridges, establish common ground, and be allies. You are now one of the more than 250,000 alumni who are the college's reputation in action. I encourage you to continue in their footsteps by making your mark on the world, doing your community proud, and of course, keeping in touch with us. We'll keep an eye on those Instagram stories. <laughs> Everyone here is proud of all you've achieved. You are now and forever part of the Humber family, and like all families, our doors are always open, 
and you're always welcome home. So be bold, be brave, be amazing, because we know you can. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, President Whitaker, for those inspiring words. Today, we are presenting, presenting an honorary Bachelor of Applied Studies degree to Jason Harrow, who will be introduced by our Dr. Paul Griffin, Associate Dean at Lakeshore Campus. Well, thanks kindly, Alvina. The Business School is delighted to announce that this year's honorary degree recipient is Jason Harrow, better known professionally as Cardinal Official. Cardinal, Cardinal is a Canadian rapper, record producer, DJ, and record executive. He's often described as Canada's hip-hop ambassador and is considered one of the nation's best hip-hop producers. In addition to his well-documented success, today Cardinal is being recognized and honored for attributes we wish to hold up as exemplars to this year's graduating class and to the entire Humber family. Specifically, determination, compassion, and transforming one's talent and art into a lifelong vocation. In addition, Cardinal is a believer in education, supporting the community, and helping others in need. Ladies and gentlemen, the Business School is pleased to confer this year's honorary degree to Cardinal Official. We kindly request that you turn your attention to the screen at this time as we play a video highlighting Cardinal's outstanding achievements and his words to the graduating class. When I was younger, I grew up in a neighborhood called Fleming and Park. Hip hop was just the predominant genre that me and my friends just grew up loving and, and listening to. So I think for us, like it just, it just felt like who we were. We were feeling this energy and, and hearing these sonics that uh, we had never heard before and we had never felt before. And I think that same feeling is pretty much what kids today still feel, just in different ways. I mean, the funny thing was when I was a kid, I thought I was gonna be, I thought I was gonna be a teacher. So all that to say, no, I had, like, I had no idea um, that I would be, that I would be in these roles. But the one thing that I did learn being able to, to navigate and being able to adapt is so key in, I think, any field you have. And that's something that like, I would tell anybody that's unsure about you know, the career path or what they really want to spend their life doing. Because there's going to be a lot of hills and valleys, but as long as you have that passion, it will push you through. The value in a good Humber education is being able to get a very solid foundation. Things can change in life and things will change in life, but the thing is if you have a solid foundation, that is the best way to build anything. So I think that being able to go to a place as excellent as Humber, a place that literally is internationally known for their various amazing programs, shout out to music, going and having that experience, learning what you learn, digging and diving as deep as you possibly could, I have learned literally by going through it. That is going to be the best thing that is gonna set you up for life. I would say to unapologetically be yourself. Not in a selfish way, but in serving yourself, being good to yourself, meaning that you're constantly pouring back into yourself. If you look at the concept of um, having the cup, a lot of times what we do is we have a cup that's full, but we are steady pouring into other people. So we get jobs and we're pouring our energies into that job. We have a family, we're pouring our energies into that family. But then you look at your cup one day and your cup's almost empty. I would say to constantly make sure that you surround yourself with um, a career choice, with family, and with energy that is always gonna replenish that cup as well. I think that is what I would definitely say uh, to all the graduates because that is it's so important and it'll last your entire life.
President Whitaker, Ms. Hannaway, it is with great honor and pleasure that we ask you to confer upon Jason Harrow this Bachelor of Applied Studies degree. And Cardinal would like to say a few words to the graduating class. Cardinal? How's everybody feeling today? I'm going to keep this real short because uh, the real champions are, uh, yes, they are the Raptors, so we can make some noise for them a little bit. But I just wanted to say, looking out at this beautiful graduating class today. The real champions are you guys. And as I see such a diverse group of people in here today, I know you guys have been through a lot. And I'm gonna tell you that this is just the tip of the iceberg. You will be going through a lot in life, but with a solid foundation like the education that you guys received at Humber, nothing can stop you. So it's my real honor to be sharing this with you, possibly in one of the best weeks that Toronto has ever had. So you should be proud of yourself. So thank you very much, guys. And it was a real honor to receive this today. Well, thank you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we have uh, an achievement award to present today. This award is the President's Medal, which will be presented by President Whitaker. The President's Medal is given to one graduate in each school who has made a significant contribution to their school and to Humber by demonstrating leadership and participation in both the academic and student life of the college while maintaining a strong overall academic average. The Business School is pleased to honor Mackenzie Beacock with this year's President's Medal. Wow. Mackenzie immediately sought to make an impact in a leadership capacity from the beginning of his Bachelor of Commerce International Business Program. He was elected president of Humber Deca U and acted as a strong advocate for student involvement and led the chapter in, complete, in competitions at the Deca U International. Building upon this experience, Mackenzie volunteered for a local not-for-profit and helped lead an international development project in Colombia. His growing passion for international business pushed him to study abroad for a semester in Ireland, and he secured a 12-month work term. In his final year, Mackenzie was elected to be board, a board level, at a board-level role for DECA U, representing Humber at the national level and becoming the first ever elected student from a Canadian college. <laughs> He was also recognized for his outstanding involvement and efforts within, with the International Bu Business Leadership Award. It is with great pleasure that the Business School presents the 2019 Pres President's Medal to Mackenzie Beacock. We have now reached the moment that all the graduates have been waiting for, the awarding of their credentials. Would the graduating class please stand up as you are able? Stand. Okay. I know it's, you're so excited, I know, you didn't know what to do there. Okay. So graduates, today you're admitted into the proud fellowship of the graduates of the Humber Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning, an honor bestowed only upon those who have met long-established standards of conduct and learning. 
In the name of Humber College, I hereby charge you to safeguard the pro professional dignity and the ethics of this fellowship, to cultivate the spirit of inquiry and experiment, to, to maintain a fresh viewpoint demanded in an age of rapid change and technological advancement, to contribute generously to society and to the community around you. President Whitaker, Leanne Hannaway, may I present to you the graduates of the business school. We also ask that you acknowledge those unable to attend today's ceremony who are graduating in absentia. I certify I certify that each graduate has met all of the academic requirements for the credential they are about to receive, and we ask for your approval on behalf of Humber's Board of Governors. Got it. Thank you. You may be seated. We now ask for the first row of graduates to proceed to the stage to receive their credential. To ensure that everyone is able to enjoy the ceremony and hear the names of the graduates as they, as they are called, we ask that you hold your applause until the list of names for each program has been completed and to remain stand, seated throughout the ceremony. We will also be announcing the Academic Achievement Award for the top student in each program. Please turn to page 49 in your convocation program for the first group of graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Julie Kirkby. I'll be reading the names of all these fine graduates. Who's happy to be here today? That's almost as loud as you cheered when official Cardinal Official was up here. So I'm feeling pretty good. OK, let's do this. It's my pleasure to introduce the graduates from the business school. Marina Ali. Please join me in welcoming the graduates from the Business Studies Program, Catherine Boudram. The next graduate is from the Human Resources Management Program. Congratulations to Samantha Hope. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Human Resources Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Immigration Consultant Program. Gaurav Ahuja. Vermia Kendria Alexander. Rayed Altal. George O. Asiedu. Alex Atsudarko. Peaches Barnaby. Allison Blackman. Mumtaz Chaudhry. Ka Chun Cheng. Samantha DeBoer. John DeMello. Zuleika Perez. Muhammad Haider.
Julianne Hoyt. Danish Dawar. Lilia Ayamabo. Ashish Jain. Kuldip Colin Gill. Gagandeep Kaur. Harsimran Kaur. Brigitte Kayat. Songshin Lee. Isaac Mejia. Sumaya Abdul Karim. No NT Oyen. Ankit Pandya. Trin Pham. Olawunmi Raji. Atul Sagar. Sanchari Senray. Trishana Shah. Supreet Singh. Anna Sulipka. Rosemary Thompson. Sandra Velosa Castaneda. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Immigration Consultant Program. The next graduate is from the Tax Accounting Program. Congratulations to Kanwaljit Padam. The next group of graduates is from the Business Marketing Program. Ritika Ayiri. Carlos Prada. Oh. Milanpreet Amrock. Alexis Anderson. Samuel James Archer. <laughs> Kunal Bajaj. Torani Bisondayo. Michael Buckner. Nelly Bistritska. Paul Calvert. Cindy Sico de Marco. Julius Clark. Carissa Crookston.
Fan Hong Nok Dao. Tao Uen Diep. Kyle Fowler. Grace Hallman. Austin Huynh. Zeltko, Zeltko Kassun. Eshwin Kaur. Sandeep Kaur. Andreas Kentris. Roderick Luangala. Huang Diep Lai. Catherine McGuire. Franz Harvey Morales. Angela Duong Uyen. Duong Uyen. Queen Tui Uyen. Lin Uyen. Linda Uyen. Sandriana Nicholas. <laughs> Alec Own. Nisarg Patel. Min Tu Pham. Jagjot Punya. Tejwati Ramasar. Rafael Sacco. Guatam Saini. Gurkirat Sarai. Malik Scantleberry. Anmal Sharma. Shashwat Sharma. Anthony Simpson. Harpreet Singh. Kushneet Singh. And the Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Jordana Springer. <laughs> Ibrahim Sultan. <laughs> Gunjan Sood. An Nokta. Manjot Tatla. Tin Hung To. Hmm? 
Teen Gatran. Tushar. Patrick Uzoma. Kwok Kwan Vu. Kyla Wilkins. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Business Marketing Program. The next group of graduates is from the Business Management Financial Services Program. Ariane Bassanello. Kiati Bavishi. Luis Hernandez. Urvashi Budlu. Mayank Dosage. Carlos Espana. Luis Flores Garcia. Gustavo Adolfo Gonzalez Abdelnor. Morzena Kadir. Joshua Casueca. Gurpreet Kaur. Navjot Kaur. Ishita Koshal. Liza Kosla. Esther Kivaria. Rafik Kutiri. Claudia Lopez. Sheetul Makla. Yang Uyen. Pranali Pawar. Zara Pirali. Min Nat Pham. David Reyes. Brendan Sharp. Nuran Subani. Ban Banuja Sukur. Akila Thayumanavan. Yishin Wang. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Business Management Financial Services Program. The next group of graduates is from the Cosmetic Management Program. Asifa Ahmed. Daenerys Alvarez. Shalana Barnes. Ashley Broncos Grignoli. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Isabel Alexandra Marie Burnett. Olivia Butler. Cassandra Caponio. Calista Carrero. Shreya Chandra. Brittany Chung. Caitlin Collins. Edna Cortez. Rosalia da Cruz. Yeah. 
Mai Dang. Anna Di Pietro. Lin Tran Lai Do. Jessica Fortino. Gia Guido. Christine Galatson. T. Nokgan Hain. Arzu Kaur. Harmin Kaur. Pandeep Kaur. Jennifer Kerr. Angelica Kiernicki. Sumi Kim. Allison Kula. Rose Lagren. Nung Ti Hong Le. Ronnie Lai. Abby Martin. Hong Tui Uyen. Jesse Noguera. Haven Miller. Susanna Barreto. Natasha Ocampo. Carell O'Connor. Dana Payne. Jenny Quintanilla. Madeline Ranieri. Elizabeth Romano. Vedika Sagar. Lovepreet Sidhu. Tule Min Sun. Hallie Stothers. Cadence Tang. Haley Tykeles. Haley Warren. Bini Verma. Hati Van Vo. Dakshita Wadwa. Patricia Garcia Moreno. Oneida Severino. Janvi Patel. Martha Zaconeta. Samantha Zisco. Please join me in congratulating all the graduates from the Cosmetic Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Esthetician Spa Management Program. Santosh Atavar. Sabetha Balakumar. 
Leila Batul. Kelsey Bean. Sayana Benjamin. Taylor Bolt. T. Mai Oan Kao. Savannah Caputi. Shannon Curry. Aria Cuthbert. Damberry Dahal. Macy Dizon. Kian Hong Do. T. Tom Do. Beverly Ada. Anam Firdos. Mela Gautier. Alexis Harder. Jennifer Hernandez. Rajbir Kaur. Thi Xuan Mai Luang. Tu Tao Lai. Nok Bish Mai. Isabel Milan. Stephanie Miranda. <laughs> Natasha Mohammed. <laughs> Nicole Munoz Gaete. <laughs> ha Ti Tu Uyen. Ha Ti Tu Uyen. Huyen Uyen. Trang Uyen. Uyen Uyen. T Tui Duyen Ngo. Ashley Nickel. Claudia Padron. Nok New Fam. Nu Noyet Min Fam. Kalina Fulsena. Sharissa Prajapat. Amy Pritchard. Princess Richard. Kirin Said. Sabrina Scaletta. <laughs> Valentina Cerveo. Ayushi Sharma. Ashwarya Sharma. Lee Shu. and the Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Nicole Patricia Simon. Yeah. 
Aisha Smith. Melina Solomena. Aliciana Supi. Chantal Sparacimino. Leah Steele. Chelsea Sumampong. Gertrude Azembu Utanwi. Yulia Terakova. Sandy Tran. Yen Tran. Jordana Tremarchi. Fernanda Vasconcelos Mayan. Mai Tam Vu. Fuk Van Vu. Ti Tu Uyen Vu. Crystal Walker Habermel. Angel White. Martika Yearwood. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Esthetician Spa Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Fashion Arts and Business Program. <laughs> Mawena Akradi. Dema Balki. Lynn Al Shawabke. Drishti Anand. Roma Anzar. Tane Atkinson. Catherine Bond. Palavi Chaudhry. Ching Yan Yang. Sierra Clancy. Julia Symbolisti. Olivia Davies. Michelle de Aguiar Garcia. Bianca Europe. Caroline Farrell. Shimnaz Ganbarova. Sydney Gilmore. Andreza Goncalves de Barros. Chantal Gooding. Aileen Guedes. Maria James. Ananya Jangu. Baljinder Kaur. Kamaljeet Kaur. Navdeep Kaur. 
So Yoon Kim. Kabir Nasi. Gurmat Kaur. Baljinder Kaur. Sharon Preet Kaur. Holly Colson. Soniana Kristaki. Rachel LeBlanc. <laughs> Gloria Lydie. Sharia Malassi. Megan Miraflor. Tess Morgan. Tashea Morris. Ha Vai Uen. Huyen Uen. Fuang Uen. Mohammed Nital Amen Osayam Wanbor Zura Ramati Ria Rene Rodriguez. Maya Rousseau. Chetna Sachdeva. Nitya Shah. Chesta Sharma. Arshali Shaji Armandeep Singh Gurpinder Singh Husanpreet Singh Pavitar Singh Prabjit Singh, Rupinder Sidhu, Luana Sirbu, Sonika, Deanna Thayer. Transam Udarbe. Rajpreet Virk. Ronald Wisdom. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Fashion Arts and Business Program. And congratulations to the graduate from business management, Natalie Grabowski. The next group of graduates is from the business administration program. Amanda Adamo. Eda Ajufo. Rana Al Kafaji, James Anderson, <laughs> Rasul Asik, <laughs> H 
Harbans Birdi. Rumandeep Beering. Sabrina Bosco Chagas da Silva. Gian Caruba. Kevin Castro. Maria Crisci. Sandeep Shahal. Radha Charles. Bumi Desai. Tamana Daliwal. Mark Dineno. Tyler Dyke. Adam Zingel. Allah El Rafai. Miriam Emiad. Matush Glogowski. Darshvir Gruwal. Sukjat Gruwal. Curtis Harding. Robert Iacampo. Michael Jubron. Akshay Kumar. Ankush Kalia. Gurkirat Kaur. Gurpreet Kaur. Sukmanjat Kaur. Kirandeep. Kamalpreet Kular. Jeremy Largo Afonso. <laughs> Alyssa Lim. Julia Liuzzi. Vincent Luong. Sravia Medasani. Sabrina Medeiros. Nerissa Mitchell. Maruf Mohammed. Ali Nasser. Gerald Nicky. Ada Nolan. <laughs> Lavnish Patak. John Pereiras. Chandani Persod. Patrick Reynolds. Luis Rodriguez. Samantha Roberto. Woo! 
Arnie St. Augustine. Gohar Shah. Manpreet Singh. Shelby Slama Allen. Sierra Smith. Himani Sharma. Peng Tan. Sandra Trell. Alicia Valentini. We want Tony Wang Tan. Leslie Weafe. Simon Young. Edward Zapeda. Angela Zepieri. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Business Administration Program. The next group of graduates is from the Business Administration Co-op Program. Dyson Barrett. Dyson. D it's Dyson, like the vacuum. Raj Karwar. Pallavi Kumar. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Business Administration Co-op Program. The next group of graduates is from the Business Administration Professional Golf Management Program. Alexander James Hughes. Nathan Park. Andrew Parahiniak. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Kyle James Douglas Shuri. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Business Administration Professional Golf Management Program. And congratulations to the graduate from the Advertising Media Management Program, Beatriz Maldonado Vargas. The next group of graduates is from the Event Management Program, Nivedita Bala, Sehaj Chala, Katlyn Montag. Karen Shaw. Maria Suraja. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the event management program. The next group of graduates is from the fashion management and promotions program. Rubina Maharjan. Devad Harshini Muragesan. Shivika Sahani. Congratulations to the graduates from the Fashion Management and Promotions Program. Our next group of graduates is from the Financial Planning Program. Yaman Al Musali. Zain Butt. Jason Charchar. Emmanuel Asilfi. Zoe Roden. Mansimran Gandhi. Yen Fuang Goyen.
Vanessa Ribeiro Gomez. Ankitsani G. Navaz Shroff. Shivanji Vashishta. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Financial Planning Program. Our next group of graduates is from the Marketing Management Program. Sanjeet Ahuja. Nippon Aurora. Vaishnavi Bisht. Raj Chatriwala. Umber Deshmukh. Yani Jelat. Karan Grover. Aditi Kalyat. Malavika Manwani. Mohammed Mustak. Aneri Pantal. Unatabin Patel. Whitney Rodriguez. Devan Shisha. Ishman Preet Singh. Manpreet Singh. Adil Talkal. Mengen Shing. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Marketing Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Public Administration Program. Ekshaya Bala. Keichi Dag Elams. Sophia Gahari. Monia Hassan. Mary Makaria. Anupriya Setia. Saba Sheikh. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Public Administration Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Accounting Program. Macy Corpus. Margarita Barvinock. Rafael Borges. April De La Cruz. Tegvir Dayal. Zainab Durrani. Hashim Al Halib. Jeffrey Gonzalez. Sarah Lynn Goosh. Tamara, Tamara Hartley Smith. Ahmad Hassan. Gurpreet Kaur. 
Kirndeep Kaur, Maliha Khan, Erica Kuzmich, J. Theodore Lara, May Mendoza, Jacob Nowak, Bryson Papp, Rochelle Perez, Hardy Fangura, Roshani Pokrell, Abhishek Sanan, Holly Smith, Oluwatayosi Sogbesan, Dinesh Thangaraja, Jean Paul Chitumbu. Max Vero, yes, Sheila Viteri, <laughs> Monica Wayuri, the Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Brandon Wiedemann. <laughs> Xiao Yan Wu. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Accounting Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Digital Business Management Program. Woo! Keith Crook. Michael Okopney. Chiara Plastina. Amanda Rice. Asha Shido. Bob Deep Sodi. Vijarthan Shritharan. William Stokes. Uche Umolu. Prabhavi Vashisht. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Shi Zheng. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Digital Business Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Fashion Management Program. Woo! Kiara Adamson. Rebecca Basson. Julia Bercy. Woo! Allison Charles. Woo! Chiachi Chen. Margaret Clark. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Natalie Jeanette Cote. Isabella DeMarco. Alana Fallis. Madison Giarratano. <laughs> Madison Jolife. Kennedy King Rowe. 
Rita Medeiros. Alexandra Murphy. Tenzing Namdak. Francis Obi. Carson Pick. Lauren Prabhu. Christina Rashfalowski. Michaela Rostek. Sydney Shaw. Cynthia Sunardi. Lauren Turco. Ji Xiong Yang. Estelle Zentil. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Fashion Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Finance Program. Farouk Abbasi. Zuyar Anwar. Jennifer Avila. Omar Bader. Rakshid Bari. Stendhal Kantave. Joshua Carlton. Jackie Chiem. Danielle Dallas. Nicole Keres. Munishi Desai. Walid Fayad. Josie Ferrari. Lauren Flores. Aditya Gandhi. Bobby Gill. Dragos Haba. Marsha Haga. Anissa Hanif. Janiel Harrison. Jessica Hernandez. Manuela Gomez. Muhammad Khan. Tyson Kral. Oksana Kudina. Earl Lopez. Alexander Mishenkin. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Larry Nouris. Jonah Paquette. Sufyan Qureshi. Abdul Rafay. Wayne Rainford. Yeah. 
Faisan Sachu. Jesse Saka. Victoria Salton. Caitlin Scanlon. Simran Segal. William Stevens. Sylvia Valley. Carolina Yamashita. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Finance Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Hospitality and Tourism Management Program. Rafael Adegboyega. Catherine Joy Appawan. Christopher Au. Tenzin Dolker. Jonathan Gay. David Ha. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Caitlin Hackman. Sonia Poor. Joanna Tassis. Dechen Somo. Danae Watson. Gia Chia. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Hospitality and Tourism Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Human Resources Management Program. Jessica Antosco. Michaela Biggs. Rhea Brooms. Rachel Erdely. Melanie Use. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Spencer Fu. Tamana Guatam. Maxim Gavrilov. Maria Julia Granados Porras. Rea Hippolito. Nayemba Cabongo. Shelly Liu. Andrew McNabb. <laughs> Vanessa Nowakowski. All of it? No, do you want all of it? Yorema de las Mercedes, Sonia Suarez. Janika Patel. Rachel Pratt. Sarah Ram. Lisa Ramcharan. Cassandra Rubletz. Lauren Ryan. Caitlin Schmaltzbauer. Woo! 
Travone Scott Thompson. Dwisha Shah. Chantal Sinclair. Sandeep Singh. Veronica Skelton. Chetty or Ketty? Robert Sorichetti. Helena Torgovnikov. Spasia Turnbull. Navar Zakarian. Julia Zander. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Bachelor of Commerce Human Resources Management Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce International Business Program. Esteban Acevedo. Ahmad Shakib Ahmad. Anastasia Artsyshevskaya. Egar Badet Sang. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Mirza Baig. Mackenzie Beacock. <laughs> Melissa Sela. <laughs> Kayuri Choksi. Sandeep Dwarka. <laughs> Victoria Friedberg. Elena Garayeva. Igor Schuler. Daniel Grisales. Paige Hall. Ling Chu Huang. Mariam Konsari. Ryan Malice. Michael Mahipat. Bagmati Najab. Janie Patani. Abraham Paul. Vashti Ramdayal. Helena Rimando. Maria Samoilova. Daniel Sokolik. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Bachelor of Commerce International Business Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Management Studies Program. Sayeda Ahmed. Prashanta Amara Surya. John Artus. Shanequia Bernard. Shante Collins. <laughs> Victoria Frappier. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Rochelle K.C. James Akins.
Michael Minku. Ryan Noble. Josefa Piazza. Rodane Skinner. Christian Valencia. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Bachelor of Commerce Management Studies program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Marketing program. Maria Arboleda. Maynard Cacho. Olivia Dooley. John Michael Fletcher. Taylor Frain. Miranda Harju. Cody Johnson Upal. Ajay Kelowan. Robert Ledger. Danielle Lobo. Tyler Lombardo. Ilana Mataccione. Michael Nathai. Boluatife Obadun. <laughs> Valentina Persibali. <laughs> Nikita Petrick. <laughs> CJ Reichstein. <laughs> Carter Sinclair. <laughs> Daniel Sosnowski. The Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Peter Spencer. Alias Syed. Mary Jo Tolo. Terry Wells. Stephanie Zita. Please congratulate the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Marketing Program. The next group of graduates is from the Bachelor of Commerce Supply Chain Management Program. Nada Alshraif. Eric Hackett. Bryson Camino. Dora Lai. Julia Marcin Kavicius. Daniel Olek. Darina Paladi. Haydar Salim. Okay. Jocelyn Umugwanetsa. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce Supply Chain Management Program. This also concludes the awarding of credentials.
Once again, congratulations to the class of 2019. You did it. I'd like to thank each of the graduates, guests, faculty, and all of the staff and volunteers for making this convocation ceremony possible. We invite all the guests to join us for a reception in the Alumni Hall immediately after the ceremony. Following the singing of O Canada, please remain standing as you are able while the platform party and the graduates exit. Congratulations.
down, your love is too high. Happy. Bring me down, can't nothing. Happy. Got me down because I'm happy, happy, happy. happy, happy. happy. Oh yeah. Thank you.